Hello everyone, this is Grant, developer evangelist on the OpenShift team at Red Hat. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a new feature that we released last week that will allow you to secure FTP files to and from your server. In today's demonstration, I'm going to be using the NetBeans IDE, but this should work the same with any IDE that supports FTP and secure FTP integration. The first thing I'm going to do is log into my OpenShift account click the login button and I'll sign in and then we want to create a new application so I'm going to say create application I'm going to select to choose a PHP 5.3 application I'll give it a name I'll call it NetBeans demo and I'll create the application what's actually happening on the back end is it's talking via our REST APIs to provision some space for you on a server it's going to set up and configure SE Linux and Linux control groups. It's going to set up a private Git repository for you, configure SFTP, and it's going to propagate your DNS out worldwide. Now that our application has been created, we can verify that it is up and running. So we can see that we do have a templated PHP application deployed out to the Red Hat cloud next thing we want to do is switch over to our NetBeans IDE and I'm going to select to create a new project and PHP application from remote server click on next we'll give this a name here of NetBeans demo this is a PHP 5.3 application we'll select next it's going to ask for our project URL and that would be NetBeans demo dash your namespace mine is actually on paths dot rhcloud.com remote connection is open shift so I'm actually going to manage this and remove that and create a new one to show you what I did here um, so the connection name we will call open shift the connection type is secure FTP we'll click OK there the host name is the same as your application names so it'll be NetBeans demo dash on paths dot rh cloud dot com um, we'll specify a private key here your OpenShift private key is actually under the users directory then your username then dot ssh and then libra underscore id underscore rsa is your private key the initial directory um, is something that we'll have to figure out real quick so let's go back to the website and we can see that our actual username for the system is this long username that's part of the get URL so I'm just gonna copy that go back over to NetBeans paste in my username there now the initial directory we will have to go out to the command line what we want to do is go back to our web browser cut and paste the username and the host name so I'll copy that go back to my terminal prompt and I'll SSH into that and then we can do a PWD and we can see what our initial directory is going to be so I'll copy that go back over to NetBeans and paste that into the initial directory click OK and then the upload directory is off of the initial directory if we do a ls we can see that we have an app root directory if we go into app root directory we have a repo directory and then a php directory and you can see that that's where the index file is so let's get this um, directory information here so it's at root app root slash repo slash php and that'll be the same for any deployment I just wanted to show you how um, to find that directory so I'll paste that in here click on next and then it's going to say that the authentication of host can't be established are you sure you want to uh, continue if you get this error message just say yes it's at just adding it to your known host file and it's going to say the following files will be downloaded so it's going to see that we already have an index file and a health check file so I'll just click on finish and now we have the NetBeans demo project uh, in our local NetBeans directory without using any of the OpenShift command line tools. So let's make a quick change and just make sure that this works. So let's say welcome to OpenShift using SFTP from NetBeans. 
throw in an exclamation point there. Now, notice when I click Save here, it's automatically sending that file up to my OpenShift directory. And so that's pretty fantastic for me. So now if I come over here and just refresh, we can see that that change has been made live out to my public OpenShift server. And so this is a good alternative if you don't want to install the RHC client tools or if you're not familiar with the Git revision control system. A couple things to keep in mind here is um, you are not committing your code locally at this point, so you don't have any local revisions for that. But this is a fantastic opportunity if you just want to develop and get things pushed out very quickly. As you can see, as soon as I saved the file, it got sent back up to my OpenShift server. If you have any questions about using OpenShift, you can email us at at openshift at redhat.com or you can log into our forums to ask questions. Thanks a lot.